Assalamu alaikum everyone. My dear students, how are you all? Welcome to a new educational video about dentistry. Every student, when they get admission in their dental colleges and universities, their very first dream is to extract the tooth. Yes, extraction is the dream of every student. So, I am here starting my first series of dentistry about extraction coming every alternative day on your YouTube channel. In this series, we are going to learn about what is extraction, its indication, contraindications, instrument used and techniques. So, let's begin with our series, stay connected and stay tuned because this is our journey of dreams towards reality. What is extraction? Extraction is a surgical process to remove the tooth from the alveolar socket because of many diseases, procedures and in need of many treatment. Indications of extraction are caries, pulpal necrosis, periodontal diseases, orthodontic reasons for malposed teeth alignment, cracked teeth which cannot be restored, impacted teeth, supernumerate teeth, and jaw fracture. Caries is basically the most common and widely accepted reason to remove a tooth that it is so severely carious and it cannot be restored and cannot be treated endodontically. For such patients, implant is a treatment of choice. So, if a patient cannot afford the expense of the implant, then extraction is a reasonable choice for them. Second indication for extraction is pulpal necrosis. What is pulpal necrosis? Pulpal necrosis is the death of the pulp any dental trauma. Pulpal necrosis or irreversible, irreversible pulpitis is not amenable to endodontics. This may be the result of a patient that is declining continuously endodontic treatment of a root canal that is already tortuous, calcified and untreatable. So, for such tooth, Extraction is the option. Third main cause of extraction is periodontal disease or periodontitis. Periodontitis is the inflammation of the supporting tissues around the tooth. Extensive periodontitis that has been existed for some time leads to excessive bone loss and irreversible tooth mobility. In such cases, extraction is the treatment of choice. If the ongoing periodontal disease cannot be treated, then we cannot even treat such tooth or replace the tooth by the implant because there will be extensive and hyper bone resorption. Orthodontic reason Orthodontic reasons are an other indication for the extraction of the tooth which is not carious, not cavitated, a sound tooth because it is the need of the treatment. Patients who are about to undergo orthodontic correction of their crowded dentition, if there is insufficient arch length, then such patients require the extraction of the teeth to provide space for tooth alignment. The most commonly extracted teeth are maxillary and mandibular premolars. This is the important point to remember. Maxillary and mandibular premolars are the most commonly extracted teeth for orthodontic reason. Malpose teeth. What is malpose teeth? The tooth which is not in the correct position, in the correct size and in the correct shape are the malpose or malposition teeth. This is the indication in se several situations. If they are traumatizing soft tissues and cannot be repositioned by orthodontic treatment, then such teeth are indicated for extraction. Most common example is maxillary third molar which erupts in the buccal version. So it is traumatizing our soft tissue, our cheek and causes ulceration. Another example is the hyper erupted teeth because of the loss of teeth in the opposing arch. Crack teeth. Crack teeth is rear indication for extraction of the tooth. If the crack to the tooth is up to the cemento enamel junction which cannot be restored by conservative techniques or if the fracture is in root then such teeth is indicated for extraction. Another indication for extraction is impacted teeth. 
impacted teeth should be considered for removal. If the partially impacted tooth is unable to erupt into functional occlusion because of three reasons, inadequate space, interference from adjacent size, or it may cause trauma to roots or tissues, then such teeth are indicated for extraction. Supernumerary tooth, also known as extra teeth, which is irregular in shape, size, and normal morphology. Such supplemental teeth impedes the eruption of succeeders and is an indication for extraction. Example of supernumerate tooth are compound odontomes, complex odontomes. Such tooth should be removed for normal dentition. Jaw fracture. Fracture of the mandible and alveolar processes need the teeth to be removed in two cases. If the tooth is injured, cracked, infected or severely luxated from the surrounding bone tissues or if it interferes with proper reduction and fixation of fracture, such teeth should be removed. These are few clinical cases of indication for extraction. Number one is caries. In this diagram, this is clearly shown that caries is extensive. Number two, pulpal necrosis. The indication of pulpal necrosis is the discolored tooth. Such teeth should be extracted. Number three, periodontal disease or periodontitis. In this case, you are seeing that there is extensive bone resorption, bony lesions and infection and inflammation. The tooth after examination are hypermobile. So, there are two options if we are doing the flap surgery or the extraction. Number four, orthodontic reason. Such teeth also need to be extracted for the, to provide space for alignment. Number five, malpose teeth which are traumatizing soft tissues should be removed and or extracted. Crack teeth up to the root up to the cemento enamel junction of fractured root is the uncommon but an indication for extraction of the tooth. Thank you so much for viewing our view, uh, video. Hope you like it. So must subscribe our channel.